Surf Church Sunday is wet. It's raining, not very hard, but it has rained pretty hard most of the early morning hours. But right now it's just a little drip now and then. I'm gonna take a ride down the street for a minute. I just pulled into my favorite coffee shop to get a cup of coffee. That's, which I don't normally go to on Sundays. And they're closed. How about that? Closed on Sunday. Now I got to scatter around and get some coffee somewhere at 7-Eleven or Wawa. Bummer. Now the rain has come back. Ah. I gotta carry that big shun back to the fellas today. That 10 inch shun that I sharpened. It sounds like I'm gonna pick up a set of globals from the same general area. But I'm not sure how many. I'm almost to my uh, other coffee stop now. So it might be a knife day. It's a, it looks like it to be a good knife day to me. We'll see how it goes. Today just ain't my day. Big sign. Closed New Year's Day. Wawa's across the street. I guess I'll go over there. I know they're open. I just cooked my own damn breakfast and get eggs and coffee. You ain't gonna like what's in here. No, I'm talking to my video. Yesterday, I had a mishap. My uh, module was hanging below my belt. Sometimes, somehow it slipped past my waistband and was hanging down near my waist. When I was in the war, near the end of our spin, it quit working. I said to myself, damn, what's up with that? And when I pulled it out to check it, I see water running out of it. A bad day at Black Rock, it could be, if it don't dry out. Yeah, over 200 smackers. I don't like it. But I do like eggs. Double yolker. Two eggs, three yolks. There you go. The leader came home. I fixed her two eggs. Look. What do you want? The Indians are hungry. I got the Indian stuff right here. Well, I'm waiting for the kid to pick his shun up. And I picked up the globals. I didn't know how many it was going to be, but I'll take them out when I get home. It's a whole block of globals. Eight of them. No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. How about that? All sizes, shapes, and configurations of globals. Okay. Well, I'm bound to the cave. It's 1.48. I gotta be home early. Dinner with Low Tide Tim. Mumbles man, I called him about 40 minutes ago, told him he better go on, and I'll meet him down there. He said that he thought Thomas was going to join us. And so he's probably there by now. Of course, the time's not low till like 4 or something, but I got to be home by 4. So I'll be there an hour and a half to two hours. We'll see how it goes the first day of the gold season for 2017 at the Bay. All righty, stand by. Here's the mobile.
Mumbles Man right there. The Mumbles Man. Well, me and the Mumbles Man are getting ready to go. First day. Stand by. Well, I made one change today. I brought my little coil. You can see it's not a breath of wind. The waves is beautiful. Well, first target's at 12.08. It's a bent up pull tab. Now we got another 12.08. See no big fat gold rings jumping out at me. Well, no, I do. I see anything. Yeah, there it is though. Right there. Whatever it is, it's teeny. I don't see it. Because I don't have it. There it is right there again. Maybe it's light. A piece of aluminum or something moving around. Stand by. We did find that 1208, but this is a solid 12, 12, 12, 11. So far, I don't see anything in there. It looks exciting. Damn. What's going on around here today? Nothing in sight. Wait a minute. No. Zippo. See what the rocks got for us. Oh, yeah. This is as nice as you want right there. I still don't see it. I ain't got much time, so I gotta be looking for something that I can see. Whatever it is, it's little. And I ain't finding it no more. Call it 1210. Huh? A 
silver half. Mama's man got a silver half. Oh uh, yeah, stand in liberty, baby. That's a nice one. Yep. I don't know what I got. It's in the scoop. Whatever it is, I got a solid twelve ten. Won't be no, won't be no stand in liberty. I can tell you. May not be anything. Mr. Thomas has joined us for a spin today. First time I've seen him this year. How you doing, Mr. Thomas? <laughs> Not doing any good at all. I need my X-Cal. <laughs> Tickets are kind of tight today. The little stuff, 22s. Junk. Had to, we got some more hunters just joined us. Old buddy, the fast man. And the guru are behind me. They just pulled up. But they're in the water now. Fast man and the guru. Ah, treasure's not safe now. Ah. A lot of grass inside here, see it? But that's okay. Damn it, something shiny right there. Oh, a piece of paper. See it? <laughs> now we got a nice sound right here. 1234. 1216. Two inches. You might as well keep the camera on and see what this is. That's a deep one of two inches, I can tell you. Well, whatever it was, we got it out of our first scoop. It's right there. Let's see what's in this scoop, if anything. Nope. Let's go find out what that is. I see something. It's a pull tab. Ha! Look at that ticky, though. There's another sound in that same hole. Different number. Shouldn't be two pull tabs. I don't think I ever dug two pull tabs in the same hole before. Might be a piece of lead. Yep, fishing low, fishing weights, it. One of them little snap-on leads. Okay. 12.03. That's a modern penny with some crud growing on it. Make it sound low. I hate those. Well, I moved out here to the big rocks where it's a little deeper. I got a hit here. I don't know what we'll find. That rocks. <laughs> God, I hate it out here. There ain't no tickets. Let's go to the pile of shells. Rocks, I mean. Nope. I'm going to have to try the hole again, if I can find it. Stand by. Real guru. He's made his way down here, sis. The guru. 1203. Not on the first scoop. Uh, 
Says we might have it this time. I don't see no knockout rings shining at me. Anything that looks like a 1203. Buffalo nickel. Yeah. Mumbles man just got a buffalo nickel, he said. I couldn't find mine. I give up on it. I got to get going. Well, I'm going up the steps. 3.30. Mumbling. No taquitos. Ah. Uh, I was hoping for gold on the first day of the year. I guess I'll have to wait till a second. Maybe. Stand by. Well, here's a roundup. What what it is? A much roundup. I, I had pre 22s. I don't know where the other two went to. <coughs> and I don't know what this doodad is here. Piece of lead lead two pull tabs not a very productive day but I wasn't there I don't know how long I was there 90 minutes maybe the mumbles man got a stand in liberty I think I showed you that rough picture of it the buffalo and a silver quarter I'll have the pictures to the back well actually I put them I put them in the video like I did last night beaver went to the land of Nada and got a penny and a quarter and they came back and stopped at the bay and found a, a 14k little teeny earring i'll add that picture too our buddy thomas then he said he found a gold cross and a tungsten ring no report well i talked to the fast man he didn't find much he was like me but no reports from the guru or the other guys I'll get back to you for tomorrow, maybe. Okay, here we go. There's a guy spinning off the ocean front. You can see the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in the background. This was taken from one of the headboats right at the mouth of the bay yesterday. Humpback. Having fun. Mm -hmm. Then we got Danny's Nut for today. He got a Coca-Cola bottle with a message inside. He got a half a dollar, a silver quarter, a silver dime. I guess maybe three silver dimes and a buffalo. And then we have Thomas's cross, 14K, his tungsten ring, a silver quarter, maybe a silver buffalo. I can't make out the rest of it. There's some kind of cool looking brass something or other. I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Okay, that's all I know about. Stand by. <laughs>